Greetings and hallucinations, ladies and lads. I am Chancellor of the Harmonious Frequencies of the Mighty Empire of Onion, and this is Rem World. Uh, so I was so heartbroken about losing Hubbard that I totally forgot that there is an incapacitated refugee out on the map somewhere. Sadly, it's a difficult prospect thinking about going to save them when I only have, what, three people that can use weapons? I think... Oh, she's dead, yeah. She's dead. How did she die? Again? Grenades. That's right. Okay, so yeah, I only have three people that can use weapons. I don't really want to leave nobody here, you know what I mean, uh, to watch the place. And I don't know if I take Blackjack if his uh, foot being gone slows the entire caravan down, but I have a feeling that that would be the case. So unfortunately, I'm afraid that this person who is incapacitated and dying out here one day left, Penelope, I'm sorry. I wanted to pick you up just because of your name, but I'm afraid there's no possible way for me to get there in time. 1.2 days and she only has one day left. Ugh. That's gross to me. That bothers me quite a bit. I'm not happy with the way that that's gone down. And we had these emus attack us. That was not ideal, either. Hoth has an infection now, in his right shoulder. From a scratch from an emu. Can you tend to yourself, please, sir? I would appreciate it. Then I think he was headed to rest anyway. Oh, maybe not. Feeding prisoners. Right, failed recruitment there. Yeah, his treatment quality was pretty terrible. So I need to get him in there to rest until somebody else can take care of him. Um. Taicho or Wooter, I think, has the best tin medicine there. Oh, Blackjack's pretty good too with tin. Six only and incapable. Tragic. Absolutely tragic. Oh, we've lost all of our night owls, sadly. But I don't have anybody that's running around doing wonderful deeds during the night. Like cooking up all of our meals or tending to everybody. I really need to get Chaco out of here, that's for sure. I can't afford to be feeding somebody who's incapable of everything. I know he doesn't want to be here either. Just incapable of leaving. So, I wonder, if I'm trying to form a caravan, is he even able to go with us? He's not on the list here. Not under animals. He's not a prisoner, he's not an animal. There's a bunch of human corpses here, but he doesn't count as one of those. Yeah, I really don't know. I really do not know uh, what to do about this. I'm pretty sure if I kill him, it's going to be bad for our goodwill with the colony. The colony, the faction. 
green crab barrow. Who needs... Yeah, she was the nimble one, too. Dang it. Dang it, dang it. Man. I really hate losing characters. Blackjack, where are you? Cooking a meal? Alright. Libby has her gun. Both probably has his gun. It's just a normal assault rifle, isn't there? An excellent one? There was an excellent one over there. Here it is. Okay, Blackjack, take this good heavy SMG then. I'll give him uh, Koth's assault rifle after I switch out for this excellent one. Oh yeah, he's gotten better treatment since then and his immunity is well above his infection level, so that's good. Oh, how difficult are these guys? A 95, a 94, and an 84. That's not too terrible. Friendly with Koth and Shun. Kind of friends with Inji, almost. So that's good. Shun is doing a pretty good job of uh, building rapport there. And he's doing the treatment here. Didn't he have pretty good? Yes, yeah, seven. It's not bad. Yeah. Immune. Immune. Nice. So I think pretty much our only... Our only option here is to get rid of this guy. I don't know if we just let him die natural. Just don't give him food. Because I think if we come in here and euthanize... I'm pretty sure we're going to lose goodwill with the faction. Man. Hydro, why don't you call these guys? Let's see if there's any option for them to rarely ask his business. See, we can get 13 goodwill for 300 silver. I didn't realize we could uh, request a trade caravan, but that's super expensive. Okay, so if this does, if this does hurt our relation with them. It's going to anger the green crab barrel. Maybe we can pay them a little bit of money. Oh. Minus 19 now. Good grief. Alright, Taicho, you're, you're my best... My best guy. For social skills. Yep. We're going to send them a gift. So we're, all, we're only at negative 7 now. Okay, now we're at positive six. That's going to be good. As long as we're not in the red. That's my idea of it. Because I don't know what the... Um... Oh, this is cool. I haven't looked at this in forever. Kind of slowed down structurally. We started building this guy, but... I guess it kind of counts as this one whole building. I don't know. As far as wealth total, though, we spiked up here a little bit. That's kind of good, I guess. Thirty major threats, nineteen raids we've survived. Holy cow! Damage taken, almost six thousand. Nine colonists killed. Dang. Crazy. These are all steel. Why don't we deconstruct all of these things? 
tear up the floors, keep them for ourselves. I don't know if we have steel in the old inventory. A little bit, 500. And there's other things that we need to be doing. Like we, we have the granite blocks to replace these walls here. But I guess Koth has been busy with other things. Been feeding prisoners and chatting with prisoners, trying to recruit. Which is all good, but at the same time... We need construction to be done. I don't know, I still don't know if it's worth it to replace this wind turbine. We have plenty of power. I may, I probably should even deconstruct this one. Just get the parts back out of it. And use it for other things. As a matter of fact, what I'm gonna do. We will get some metal from smelting slag. So we can do that. Eventually, after we get done uh, researching brewing, we can research uh, component assembly here. Start making our own components, because I think that's holding us back in a lot of different... Um, a lot of different construction jobs. Okay, I've already got that replaced. I almost want to build another one right here, so that it can cover this corner. In fact, I think I will. I know that that's all steel and components, which is exactly what we don't need to be spending a bunch of right now, but it's fine. It's fine. Might as well cover that whole area there. I guess Koth has been having to do some repairs too, like these walls aren't up to snuff yet. He was trying to repair sandbags over here not too long ago. So there is plenty for everybody to be doing right now. We're still looking pretty good on the food situation, I'm trying to see here. Uh, let's see, it's 1300, 1400, 61 meat just routed away, that's okay. We've got a lot, about 2300, 2200 uh, vegetables alone, and then about a thousand less than a thousand meats. I'd say that's pretty good. That's about, what, 150 meals or something like that? That'll last us a couple of days, I would say. I can't... I can't generally math, so don't trust any of those numbers I just said. And right after I said we're good on food, I'm gonna go ahead and run around the map and hunt animals anyways, because I am a heartless soul. Soulless. Dark. And wicked person. Cares nothing for life. Guy too. Get him. Vanquish him. The elephants I don't want to mess with. I'm not interested in revenging elephants. I wouldn't mind killing this guy, though. Except I'd rather them do it as a group. Instead of one at a time. I don't think anybody's... No, nobody's prioritized as a hunter right now. We're busy with other things. Thank you very much. You guys see that red flash? About five seconds ago, there was a red flash right here. I still don't know what that means, or why it happens. I've seen it before a couple of episodes ago as well. There it is. There it was. Just for a minute. I do not know what causes that, but it sure is strange.
Come on, somebody join us. Somebody, please. Recruit failed. Up to 71. NG ought to have pretty good numbers by now. 90. Cost opinion of her. Is she abrasive or something? Ugly. That's what it is. And ain't nobody care if she's ugly. She needs to work for us, okay? Forget what you think about physical appearance. It's not all that's important in life. Silly colonists. They're almost like real people. <laughs> I've noticed that we do still need some wood. I was thinking we had chopped down some trees up here already, but that wood must have been used. There's some trees down here. I don't know how often the trees respawn. In an area like this. Oh, these are, these are new. I haven't seen these before, Drago trees. These must have come in with the update. And they look like what I would think of it as a uh, desert type of tree. Uh oh. This fire might spread to this gave. Looks like it is. And subsequently to these trees as well. Hopefully not though. Hopefully it goes out. Alright, Taicho, let's see what these folks have. Who are these guys from? Kingless Confederation? Valinum? Valinium? Iuminium? Valinum? Alright, we want all of our food. Thank you very much. Your neutromine is appealing, but I don't have any cloth yet. You have cloth. So maybe it would be a good point to buy these things from them? Maybe? We can sell them back some alpaca wool to offset the cost. Because we're never going to use that for anything. Um, the boomalope leather can go. Coral skin, I don't think we can use for anything. Are they going to buy dead man's clothes? They are. And these clothes that are too low quality for us to use. Y'all can have the yayo, I don't mind. I was gonna snort it all myself, but I just don't have time right now. Of course, I suppose if I did that, I would have the time and energy for everything, but that's another story. 166 bucks, and now somebody can get started working on uh, making medicine, which is pretty valuable. Higlington Higgerson the fourth has brought in 180 neutroamine and his brother Sigvrid has brought in some more they don't really have names I don't know if you know this but they're just wild boars all right they are doing pretty good wow look at all these calves you guys want any calves I didn't notice if they were into buying animals, but I don't think they were. Pretty sure it was a bulk goods trader. Okay, Shun. The pigs haven't, uh... Oh! Haha! <laughs> right when I say the pigs haven't brought in the last of it. There they go. Alright. Since you guys injured each other, you're not gonna get mad at me for it, are you? Doesn't look like it. All of our males are happy. That's good because that's pretty much all of them, except Libby, I think. Male, male, male. Work left. Oh, male, male. I think Koth is a male. Yeah, yeah, he totally is. Surprising. Oh no. <laughs> Just kidding.
Yep, there goes one of the little buggers. There's another one. I didn't even notice him when I panned across over here. It looks like we have a bunch of male ostrich as well. I guess that's okay, um, but I might need to get rid of some of them eventually. Yeah, it'll definitely be a while before anybody starts making medicine, unless I manually tell them to do so. Because there are so many other jobs that need to be done right now. Libby's working on crafting clothes, but we have backup clothing for everybody, which is good. I haven't noticed anyone complaining about having tattered apparel, so... So far, our clothing restriction and availability has been working properly. Oh, see? See how it goes? You guys get drafted up and come out here. Wild War 18, hang on, buddy. Hang on, buddy. I'm trying to hurry. I'm trying to get him here. Oh, it's not going to go in three speed while someone's being attacked. It looks like it's ready to go. Oh no! Murdered to death at the last second. Libby, where the heck are you? Can you not go any faster than this? Koth is getting tore up from the floor up by this dang cougar. Got a left eye permanent injury now. I guess just come back, because it's going to get in close here. It's probably going to kill you before you get inside, to be totally honest. Yeah, didn't even... There we go. Wouldn't go rescue Koth then. Did she get beat up too bad? Got her hand bitten off. Oh, great. So she has a shattered right femur and a bitten off right hand. Great. That's magnificent. And Pitter Patter is pregnant. It's good. Man. This is disgusting. Get this out of my face. Wooter. Get up here and tend to Koth. Libby, get in here. Gun. Oh, I think somebody else was gonna do it, but whatever. John was closer. I don't care what you say. Alright. Everybody patched up. Looks like Libby's already fully healed, hilariously, from having her whole hand bitten off. It's disgusting. I'm gonna have to give her a leg and an arm to replace that. And the Koth needs an eye now. Don't I have somebody else? Yeah. Right arm, left foot. Left hand, right arm. Gross. Gross! I don't even want to think about it. It's disgusting. If Libby's primarily a crafter though, she needs a hand. That's for sure. Crazy. We're getting some more of the medicines. It looks like we've got a bunch of cloth about to come in, so we should definitely be able to handle um, medicines. I might change this to trees, uh, at least for one season, one harvest, and then um, maybe after these little guys are grown. I don't know. After this cotton harvest, I'll go in plant trees so that we can get enough wood to finish up these other projects. Yeah, they haven't even gotten around to cutting these plants yet, but then again, their plant cutting isn't 
a high priority for them. Let's make it to where it is. And then we'll have the resources we need to do the big stuff. Alright. But I think that's where I'm going to leave it for this episode. So if you want to catch the next one, be sure to subscribe. Consider supporting my channel through the Patreon link down in the video description. And feel free to check out any of my other videos and playlists that you might be interested in. I thank you so much for all the time you spend on my channel. And I hope blessings of wisdom and peace on all of you. Farewell. Farewell.